Miniseries are the perfect bite-sized dramas, offering all the thrills without the long-term commitment. The 2020s have blessed us with some incredible gems. Here are 15 of the best, each worth every minute of your time. Swarm. The series stars Dominique Fishback as a young woman whose obsession with a world-famous pop star leads her on a dark and murderous path across the United States. Swarm premiered on Prime Video with little marketing or fanfare, but quickly blew up on social media to become a highly praised series. You know, I always knew you were gonna be something. I was like, she's so weird. You gotta spare in the trunk. No! Damn, you got a dead body in there or something? <laughs> the Offer is a biographical drama about the making of The Godfather. The 10-episode series follows the film from its inception to the 1973 Oscars. The Offer shows the story from the eyes of producer Al Ruddy, who is portrayed by Miles Teller, as he deals with production drama and threats from the Mafia. I got no cast. Do you think Pacino is actually a possibility? Cut it! No Pacino. Marlon Brando is interested. He's a nutcase. Can one thing go right with this picture? A Friend of the Family. Based on true events from the 1970s, the series focuses on the Broberg family, who spent their days being devoted to their faith until tragedy hit them out of nowhere. A Friend of the Family is filled with almost unbearable suspense, chilling performances by the entire cast, and a respectful depiction of real events. No one thinks that their best friend is a monster, but he has all the hallmarks of a psychopathic personality. Happy birthday, Jan. Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story. The series focuses on Queen Charlotte herself, telling the story of her youth, marriage to King George, and her coronation. While it shows the rough patches in Charlotte's life and what it took for her to grow into an influential woman, the miniseries also offers the audience an insight into the past of some other beloved characters. Be careful. You are the first of your kind. You must secure your position. Where is the king? The king cannot see you now. Charlotte may require privacy. She is his wife. She should know. There is nothing to know. Under the Banner of Heaven, a true crime drama about the murder of Brenda Wright Lafferty and her baby, which seemingly is connected to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Andrew Garfield delivers another amazing performance as Mormon detective, who battles with his belief as he dives deeper into his investigation and comes upon disturbing details. I wonder how something so horrific could have come to pass. Women of the Movement tells the harrowing real-life story of the brutal murder of Emmett Till in 1955 during the era of the Jim Crow laws in Mississippi and dives deeper into the trial that followed. While Women of the Movement shares an incredibly disturbing story, it is an utterly important one to say the least. The topic of racism is at the center of this miniseries, and it works as a reminder that it also needs to be at the center of conversation in real life. The whole city is praying for you and your boy. I want a public wake, open casket. People need to know what they did. The Dropout is a biographical drama which highlights the life of Elizabeth Holmes and the founding of Theranos, a multi-billion dollar company, and centers on her initial rise which eventually ended with her daunting downfall. She could have had the power to bring about a massive change in the healthcare system, but instead put lives in danger and ended some due to her scams. You're CEO of a billion dollar company. What are you afraid of? Her whole image is fake. We have to stop her. We haven't seen a single contract. She is lying to you. You're in over your head. Hollywood. Ryan Murphy adds Hollywood to his long list of fantastic shows. 
The show follows a group of aspiring actors and filmmakers during Hollywood's post-World War II golden age. Each of them is working hard to achieve their own dream, trying to make connections and work their way up the ladder. However, while dreams can come true, they are constantly facing new hurdles and have to bring order back into a messy chaos. All right, everyone, roll camera. Action! This studio is risking everything. We're already seeing pushback. And suddenly, everything goes dark again. We own this city. John Bernthal is incredible as the crooked Sergeant Wayne Jenkins here. The show centers on the Baltimore Police Department's gun trace task force and the corruption that led to the convictions of eight Baltimore officers. The non-linear narrative gives you the rise and fall of the task force simultaneously, while giving audiences a fresh take on how stories like this are typically told. Look around. We built this machine where half the damn country part with money and power to chew up the other half. I didn't have anything to begin with. Watch it work. Made. At the center of the story is Alex Russell, who is a mother to a young daughter and is trying to escape an abusive relationship. With fighting her way out of her relationship, the struggle to find housing and keep her head over water comes along. Picking up jobs as a cleaner, Alex fights for a better future. Now I'm a single mom. Young bro? No. You got a problem with background check? No. <laughs> this is a trial. Oh, I'm starting today. That's good news, ain't it, bro girl? We compost. The bin is labeled compost. Can you read or should I show you? The Queen's Gambit. A story of a nine-year-old girl in the 1960s who is an introverted orphan, but finds comfort in playing chess and learns that it is helping her gain some control back. She quickly discovers that she has a talent for the game, turning her into a chess prodigy known as Beth Harmon, and she even competes at the U.S. Open Championship. Tell the readers of life how it feels and to be a girl. Among all those men. I don't mind it. Chess isn't always competitive. Chess can also be... beautiful. WandaVision. Wanda and Vision move into a small town and look to have a happy life, but nothing is as it seems as their surroundings begin to move through different decades and they encounter various television tropes. Eventually, a major conspiracy is uncovered involving Wanda's powers, the Vision's fate after the events of Avengers, Infinity War, and a government agency monitoring the events. Hello, dear. Hiya, kid. Hiya, kiddos. Life moves pretty fast out in the suburbs. Something's wrong here. <laughs> Should we just take it from the top? Wanda, Wanda. I don't know how any of this started. The Last Dance. Basketball fans, listen up, because this miniseries dives straight into the life of one of the most famous basketball players of all time, Michael Jordan. Over 10 episodes, Michael Jordan's rise to his incredible success and goes into specific detail regarding the final season he spent as a player for the Chicago Bulls. They all understood who I was. My mentality was to go out and win at any cost. Beef tells the story of two people, Amy Lau and Danny Cho, who meet in a parking lot but under unpleasant circumstances, which instantly ignite road rage in both of them and spark a long-lasting feud. With their vendetta against the other and a desire to seek revenge, Amy and Danny take it not one step, but many steps too far, affecting not just their own well-being, but also those around them. I would love to let this go, but actions have consequences. I just can't understand what those people are so angry about. Bitch-ass handyman pissing on my... This is your oh, Dopesick is an incredible series about Purdue Pharma and the opioid epidemic. Michael Keaton steps into the role of a doctor in a small rural mining town that became one of the epicenters of the opioid crisis. Dopesick tells the story from the start of Purdue Pharma's marketing of OxyContin to the epidemic we are now facing. I think maybe that medicine might be just a tad more addictive than you said. That's not what we're hearing. Something is happening here. Don't you do it! 
there might be a unique situation brewing. 